Hello and welcome back. Today we will start lecture 5-1 on frequency response analysis gain and phase margin. The objectives are to define the relative stability gain and phase margin for a control system and to use a Bode diagram to determine the relative stability of a control system by calculating the gain and phase margin. At times in the design of a control system, it is better to place the poles and zeros of the closed loop system to satisfy certain stability requirements based upon the gain and the phase margin. The relative stability of a control system is the closeness of a system to its instability point. This point represents the point where the system is marginally stable and that there is a pole on the j omega axis which leads to the satisfaction of the angle and magnitude criterion. Recall that the criterion are that the magnitude of g of j omega h of j omega is equal to 1 and the angle for g of j omega h of j omega is equal to plus or minus 180 degrees. The gain margin is the factor by which the open loop gain must be changed to make a stable system marginally stable. The phase crossover frequency, omega PC, is the frequency at which the phase of G of S, H of S is negative 180 degrees. The magnitude of G of S, H of S at omega PC is 1 over GM. Recall when a system is stable for all positive gain K, omega PC approaches infinity and the magnitude is equal to zero and the gain margin approaches infinity. When a system is unstable for all positive gains k, omega pc is equal to zero radians per second and the gain approaches infinity or the gain margin is zero decibels. The phase margin is the magnitude of the minimum angle by which the phase angle must change to reach plus or minus 80 degrees for a stable closed loop system. The gain crossover frequency, omega gc, is the frequency at which the magnitude of g of s, h of s is 1 or 0 decibels. The phase g of s, h of s at omega gc is the phase margin minus 180 degrees. The two special cases, once again, when a system is stable for all positive gain k, omega gc approaches infinity, the phase angle approaches infinity, and the phase margin approaches infinity. When a system is unstable for all positive k, omega gc is equal to zero radians per second, the phase is plus or minus 180 degrees, and the phase margin is zero degrees. The phase and gain margin can be determined from the system's Bode diagram, which we will demonstrate during this lecture. Finally, note that for a minimum phase system, all of the poles and zeros are in the left half plane. This means that both the phase and gain margin must be positive for system stability. A reasonable rule of thumb is that the phase margin for a system should be between 30 and 60 degrees and the gain margin should be greater than 6 decibels. Alright, let's try an example. In class activity 1, for the control system with the following open loop transfer function, determine the gain crossover frequency, the phase crossover frequency, the gain margin, and the phase margin for k equals 10. So we see here the root locus for k equals 10, and at this point, all of our closed loop poles are in the left half plane. So we do have a stable system. We know the other two poles are somewhere around here. But that there will be a certain gain by which I can increase this such that the poles will be right here on the imaginary axis, and I could potentially have a marginally stable system. So now we need to look at the Bode diagram in order to define these values. Okay, the phase crossover frequency is where the phase crosses 180 degrees. So the phase crossover frequency is right around here. So we put omega PC is equal to approximately 6.6 .6 per second. And note down here that I have shown the MATLAB code so that we can get the exact values for these so that you can see that our values are in line with what we would expect. And if I go up to the top graph to that same point about 6.6 .6 radians per second, which is right around here, and I estimate the amount that the gain has to change in order to get to zero decibels, and I'll see here that this difference is such that the gain margin is about 13 decibels. And we see down here 
that it is 13 decibels at 6.63 radians per second. So now let's find the gain crossover frequency. The gain crossover frequency is where this graph crosses zero decibels. So that happens right about here. So we'll say that the gain crossover frequency omega GC is equal to 2.54 radians per second. So then if I drop down to this graph, this is approximately here, and the difference between that and negative 180 degrees is my phase margin. So our phase margin is approximately 73 degrees. And if we come down here, we see that the phase margin is indeed 73 degrees at about 2.54 radians per second. All right, let's try another example in class activity two. For the control system with the following open loop transfer function, determine the gain crossover frequency, phase crossover frequency, gain margin, and phase margin for k equal to 7.5, where g of s, h of s is 10k s plus 1 over s times s plus 5 times 0.1 s plus 1. So what you should see here when we look at the plot of the root locus is that there is no gain that's going to make this system marginally stable because the root locus plot does not cross over the imaginary axis. But now let's take a look at the Bode plot and find these values. Okay, let's look for the phase crossover frequency first. So what you see when you look at the phase plot is that there is no frequency where the phase crosses negative 180 degrees. So we would say that there is no phase crossover frequency. And therefore, there is no gain margin or the gain margin is equal to infinity. Or as we stated before, no gain will make this system marginally stable. So now let's look for the gain crossover frequency, that's when our magnitude crosses zero decibels, and that happens at approximately this point, which we're going to call 26 radians per second. So now if we drop down to our other graph at that same point, We now find that our phase margin, if this is approximately negative 150 degrees, the phase margin is 30 degrees. So if we look at our data from MATLAB, we do have omega GC is 26 radians per second, the phase margin is 30 degrees, whereas the omega PC is infinity because there was no phase crossover frequency, and the gain margin is infinity. Let's try one final example for today's lecture in class activity three. For the control system with the following open loop transfer function, determine the gain crossover frequency, phase crossover frequency, gain margin, and phase margin for k equals one. G of s, h of s is equal to 10k times s plus one over s squared plus three s plus three times s plus three squared. So what you should notice here from the root locus plot, unlike the last example, is that it does cross over the j omega axis for a given gain. So we are going to be able to find a gain margin this time. Now let's go take a look at the Bode diagram to determine these values. So the first thing we're going to look for is the gain crossover frequency. What you should notice here is that zero decibels at the top so there is no value where this magnitude plot will cross zero decibels. So what that tells us is that there is no gain crossover frequency or that the gain crossover frequency is infinity, which means that the phase margin is equal to infinity. So now let's find the phase crossover frequency. That happens when the phase plot crosses negative 180 degrees which is about right here. So we say that the phase crossover frequency is 4.6 radians per second. So I now trace that up to the top plot and we're approximately here. 
And so now what I want to determine is how much can I increase the gain by to reach zero decibels. And that value is our gain margin. And that is approximately 25 decibels. And this concludes today's lecture on gain and phase margin. Have a great day.